and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Recently I purchased four Born Pretty Spring Garden stamping plates from AliExpress. I'll be sharing with you the final two Spring Garden stamping plates that I purchased. So in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing Spring Gardens L008 and L011. As always you can find information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and please make sure you have the bell notification on and please also like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my usual stamper and scraper along with six coloured nail tips. I'll be taking three swatches from each plate. I'll be starting with Spring Garden L008. For the first swatch, I'll be using a light blue coloured nail tip along with a dark blue stamping polish. With line images, I do like to scrape in a couple of directions, just so that I can get each line covered. Now I will say that I didn't line this one up central enough, but it's still a nice looking image though. For the next swatch, I'll be using a white coloured nail tip along with a metallic pink stamping polish. Now with this swatch, I didn't clean my scraper completely between swatches, and when you see this swatch stamped it sort of has a two-tone color effect the blue from the last swatch has mixed with the pink it's a very cool effect and this is a very pretty image for the next swatch I'll be using a deep coral colored nail tip along with a red stamping polish with images that are fine lined and lots of extra small bits my tip work quickly because they're so small they will dry even faster and might not actually even transfer but this image looks lovely a great summer image moving on to spring garden l011 for the first swatch i'm using a light green colored nail tip along with a dark green stamping polish now i didn't know if this color combination was going to work or not I'm still a little unsure if I like it or not, but the image has swatched really nicely. You'll see that I am removing the excess off of most of these swatches. For the next swatch, I'll be using a light pink colored nail tip along with a neon pink stamping polish. I've seen images like this one before. It's a beautiful image. You could color them all in with different colors, even add some crystals to the space at the top. I almost used this image for my Manny, but it is stunning though. For the next swatch, I'll be using a dark purple colored nail tip along with a pale pink stamping polish. Both aren't images that I tend to use a lot in my manners. I'm not sure why. It might be that I'm not sure what to actually add alongside it. But with this one again, you could color it in and that would really make it stand out well. But this is a very pretty bow. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and manners that I've created from these Born Pretty stamping plates. Born Pretty Spring Garden L008 is floral and pattern inspired. Along the bottom there is six nice sized patterned images. Along the top there is six very pretty floral images. And then in the middle there is eight smaller floral images. Personally, I wasn't sure if I liked the mix of floral and pattern on the plate like this. I definitely want to have more play time so I can have a play around and see what I can come up with. But there's still some really nice Im images though. These floral images are just calling for either reverse stamping or Sharpie manis. Adding the extra color with these images will just look amazing. Again, this is another well engraved plate from Born Pretty. I do want to see if I can come up with a Manny using a mix of the four Spring Garden plates. It's not something that I've looked into yet, but we shall see though. I also want to have a look at some of the other Born Pretty pattern plates in my collection to see if I have anything else that will work alongside these. I think I've got plenty. As I said in the video section about working quickly, it would be on almost all of the images because of the line and the detail to them. 
Also with line images, I like to make sure that I go in the direction of the lines. So for the Manny, I went with a yellow gel polish as my base color, and I stamped in a metallic brown stamping polish, which over the yellow has a orange tone to it. I love this color combo. So with the Manny, I've used three different images, one from each line, and I really like how they've all worked together. With the thumb, I did do a double stamp, and I'm really quite impressed with how well that actually looks but a great summer manny born pretty spring garden l011 has some beautiful images of which there is 21 they are a mix of mandala to floral and butterfly to the smaller images on the left hand side now with a plate like this i normally turn the plate to scrape and pick up the images i don't know why but I couldn't get a good pickup, which I found really quite strange for me. But the swatches from L011 have turned out really nicely. For the smaller images on the left hand side, I've laid them on the pop stick in the center just so that I can get the entire image on there. But these would work well at the cuticle area or the free edge or from the side walls. So a lot of possibilities with them. But you could also do this with the mandala images as well. Just like the other three, a well engraved plate. This really does help get good swatches. Now I don't know to be honest, just how much I would use this style of plate. Just because when it came to the Manny, I had real trouble getting a Manny together. But we shall see. Now I will leave the link to the first Spring Garden swatch review video in the description box below. They are two very pretty stamping plates. I'll definitely be looking at what other new stamping plates Born Pretty have out. These few that I've recently had, to be honest I'd forgotten how nice Born Pretty plates were. I do have a full playlist of Born Pretty stamping plates, so check them out as well. So for the Manny, I went with a Dusky Mauve colour gel polish, and as I said, I was unsure on what I wanted to do, but I've stamped in a pale pink. This isn't a colour combo that I've ever used before, so I was pleased it worked. I also went matte, and I've used just one image on the nail coming up from the free edge. I don't think I've done this before in a Manny, but it's still very pretty though. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the Mannies and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on these Spring Garden Born Pretty stamping plates. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping. And bye.